Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today for this Q&A around our collections in the CBD zone for curbside collection. Um, council made this decision some time back about not collecting in this business zones and it was for a variety of reasons. Um, Recognising that we're putting in a new curbside collection for our residential area and understanding that that probably wouldn't suit the complexity of businesses with their waste and recycling. And, this, the diff and by that I mean, you know, whether it's food waste, glass, packaging cardboard, it is different from the residential collection. So yeah, I welcome your questions today. I'll do my best to answer them and uh, we'll see how we go. We encourage people to put their questions in the chat. Uh, the chat is open. If you've got any questions, please type them into the chat and we will um, put them up to me and Adrian to answer. One of the questions we've had submitted via email was asking if MPDC could provide a central collection site in town for recycling to encourage people to continue to recycle. At this stage, we haven't got a plan to do that, but it's certainly something we could consider if there's an interest for that. Okay. And another one that we've had via email is from people wanting to get a better understanding of what the challenges are. So the letter that Council sent referred to logistical challenges of collecting in CBDs. What are some of those challenges? So some parts of our town are not easily accessible with large recycling trucks, given that the, the trucks that will be coming around now will be this one truck will be collecting the recycling one week out of a bin, and that same truck will be back the next week to take the recycling, um, take the rubbish, sorry, and because we'll be doing a wheelie bin, not the bag system anymore. And I and I guess there's, there's that element of cars being parked in the street. You know, these are mechanised trucks that are going to be clipping on and, and tipping, so not really suited to areas where there's vehicles. And what about the question of how people pay for this service? So at the moment, people are rated for um, curbside collection in the commercial area, so they are paying for that service. What does this new service mean for that? Yes, so that targeted rate will be removed off those properties in the business zone. So those are the questions we've received via email. We really encourage anyone who's joining us um, on the session to pop any other questions that you've got in the chat. Um, all questions and comments are welcome. Perhaps while we wait for a question, I guess the reality is, is this has probably come a, become an unwelcome surprise for some of the businesses. And with the questions being asked about consultation, and when we were the public consulted about this, it was an, included in our waste minimisation plan consultation back in April 2021. There was that period 2020-21. And this was when we were about to head out with the tender process for the new curbside contract that we were developing to begin in the financial year of the 2023-24 uh, year. And so this is how it's come about. And so we did include... Uh, a separate contract for the CBD to tend, invite tenders for that. And it, the result was that it was came back significantly dearer. And we thought, well, perhaps there was a better opportunity for some of our private businesses that operate in the district could better meet those needs of the different businesses in the town with their smaller trucks, especially. And for those businesses that do not um, create enough waste to warrant a private collection, you know, having a truck filling a skip bin, um, what is council suggesting they do with their rubbish? So I guess the challenge there is, is around perhaps adapting our systems or people having the opportunity to change how they look at their own individual waste. You know, schools are leading the way with waste-free lunch boxes. Is there a way that businesses can reduce their, their need to the same extent? The other opportunity is, is that you, you do visit the transfer station and do your recycling and, and take a rubbish bag out and just pay for the disposal of the rubbish bag. Okay. Um, 
We still uh, have no questions in the chat. So again, we encourage people to add their questions in the chat. Okay, we've had one, thank you. Um, so this says retailers are already telling us that they have seen people using the main street rubbish bins. These will be utilized more if there is not a pickup of the rubbish, which will result in overflowing bins. What does council think of this? I guess this is a two-pronged thing with curbside collection and the recycling um, needs of businesses. And different businesses have different waste streams. You've got your glass, you've got food, you've got large box packaging. That sort of thing isn't going to end up in the in those bins because it'll be too big and, and cumbersome. Um, I guess that's one of the things that we have to understand as to whether that will be a thing or not. Um, I would hope that businesses would find ways to reduce their waste, you know, become paperless, or um, you know, there's even the opportunity that you know a milk bottle you could take it home, you know, rinse it out and take it home. You can. There are ways to do it, and to be fair, the the councils across New Zealand generally don't collect in the business zones. We are one of the few that has done that. Okay, and we've got another question here um, around the concern for food waste from businesses that aren't food businesses. Um, so that's just the likes of your cafeteria waste from staff uh, becoming a health and safety problem and or causing um, rodent issues. Any thoughts or comments on that? Um, it's actually really interesting in that space around the opportunity to do composting. You know, there's bound to be someone in the community that will gladly take your waste or pigs or maybe even someone in your business that might have chocks that might want to take, you know, take it home to the to the chickens. I'm not saying that that's the ultimate solution, but this is where we all have to find a way to solve things for ourselves. We all have to take a part in this and find a way to do things differently. Thanks. We're going to give one last opportunity for people to add any further questions into the chat. Um, otherwise, we will wrap this up and we will make the recording of this available on the council website for anyone who um, wants to wants to watch it or share it with friends or colleagues. Us, thank you for your time. I hope that's just fostered a little bit of thinking around the way forward and adapting, finding new ways to do things. You know, it's all part of change. I know we don't like change, but there is always, always a better way of doing things. And this is a golden opportunity to, to think a little bit differently and act differently. And thanks so much for your time and happy to take your calls at any time if you have some ideas of what we can do to help you. Thanks.